Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Review. I know I said it's a lot, but I am crazy excited to have this beer. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite beers on planet Earth. So um, a little bit about if you just want to review, fast forward a little bit. So uh, it's 14%. It's brewed once a year, December 6th. They then age it for 10 months. Then they bottle it. So this is a 20, I'm sorry, the 2009 uh, vintage, which means that they brewed at the end of 2008. Um, let's see if that'll pick up the... I turned off the autofocus. I don't know if it'll pick up, but anyway, it's 2009. I have a couple more of these, and then I have a decent number of 2014. Um, I think this beer age is so amazing that I'm just going to let those sit because, yeah, even 2014 and 2017, to me, too fresh for these. They just age so beautifully. So uh, pretty early in my craft drinking days, a buddy of mine came over about this time of year, Christmas time, and uh, we were just splitting some beers, and he's like, hey, you're going to be like, really excited and uh to try this really gonna like it and it blew my mind if it it probably was the first beer i had that truly blew my mind if not the first one of the first and um as you know if you watch my channel i like hoppy beers i like malty beers uh, i'm pretty fortunate that way and uh this is a malt bomb to the extreme so it's just 14 percent of the delicious maltiness um i did wax seal it myself so it's been aging obviously for a long time um, this wax seal makes it kind of annoying to open, not too painful. And I do have proper glass for family closet. I lucked out uh, in a store in Buffalo I was visiting a couple years ago, and they had uh, some Sammy Claus glasses, so I grabbed two. Um, yeah, keep in mind the ABV, you're not going to probably get too much head. Man, oh, it's so beautiful. All right, again, some of that aroma. And the fill line is all the way down here because <laughs> this is a strong beer. Uh, so I bought two glasses for a reason. One, hoping that I could like split this with someone. And uh, two, again, because one of my favorite beers, and I'm a dork, I like proper glassware. If one breaks, I have another one. So anyway, uh, the color, very like ruby, burgundy kind of a color, like dark, dark cranberry juice. Um, the head is barely there. Let's get into the aroma. Something I care about. It's sugar. It's plums. But the sugar, it's it's so many notes of sugar. It's regular sugar, like raw sugar. It is slightly burnt sugar. It's like caramelized uh, sugar. A little bit of a toffee note. You get like almost like liqueurs um, and liquors. You get um, like some sherry note. Oh, man, it, it smells amazing. Vanilla. And then definitely, like I said, plums, but also raisins. A lot of those dark dried fruits. I, I don't know why I keep putting it down. I just want to keep, <laughs> keep it right in my face. It's just, it smells so awesome. All right. I can't wait. I'm so excited. 2009. Cheers. The alcohol still has a nice warmth. Oh my God. It's like you take raisins and the plums and all that stuff and soak them in rum. It, has, it definitely has a rum characteristic. I didn't pull that in the nose, but definitely in the taste. Some of the vanilla comes through. Oddly, almost it's not aged in anything, um, like barrel wise, but it does have a little bit of almost an oak taste to it. The dark fruit cannot be overemphasized, and it actually has a little bit of a cinnamon taste to it, which works nicely with that cinnamon, I'm sorry, that little bit of the alcohol. It's not quite a burn, the warmth. That cinnamon with that warmth is just, it's a perfect melding. Um, just like in the aroma, there, these sugar notes are interesting, and if you drink a lot of hoppy beers, this might be a, a tough beer to kind of process because the tastes are so different. So again, just like the aroma, you do get like just some straight raw sugar. We do get the caramel notes. You get like slightly burnt sugar notes. Um, if molasses was sweet, you kind of get like that note. Um, let me do another swig. It's, it's just so freaking good. <laughs> like the ripest berries. 
the short version, the stars of the show, however you want to say it, dried fruit, put them in some, you know, like in rum. That sugar component, so nice there. There is a little bit of cinnamon coming from somewhere. The vanilla, I got a hair more in the aroma than the taste. The booze, still there, but not in a burning way. Um, it is, it does taste like Christmas. I just, I'm so excited to sip on this uh, for the rest of the evening. Try Sammy Claus. Um, get some, try it fresh, you know, get a four pack. Try one and then just age. As long as you can hold out, age the beer. It's so amazing. Um, they have other beers that they do, this company, um, that I like. But this one is, to me, the clear winner. And um, I didn't buy any this year. I don't know if my local store got in four packs uh, from this year. But I'll have to check because I, I got to keep up my supply because, again, it ages so amazingly. Um, Actually, might be my top pick for beers to age. That, that'd be a cool video to do. One of my favorite beers to age. Anyway, uh, check me out on Untapped and Instagram. It's No Hype Beer Reviews at both those places. Um, and as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.